Um, okay, so these are the, this is the lighter color. It comes in two shades. It's more of like a natural wood as opposed to like a mahogany, which is darker. Um, and I personally like more natural wood tones, especially with my cheese board that I'm making right now. Okay, now let's get to the cheese. So what I'm going to do is I normally like placing things like opposite um, of each other to balance out the board a little bit more. I shared with you guys who came at the beginning of the live stream, but I have pre-cut and selected my cheese. Also, I am no expert at all. So what I'm doing is maybe not the best pairing for different types of cheese and crackers, but I just wanted to have a fun night on the Monday night and share something fun with you guys. Um, and so therefore don't take it too seriously. I'm just trying to make a cheese board and have fun tonight and who cares? Um, okay, so I have a cheddar cheese right now and I cut it into like more thin slices. I washed my hands before this. So for those of you who are watching, just a heads up because I will be handling the food and I did wash my hands. Um, okay, so this is the larger block, the end block. And then I did some pre-cut slices. So this is great way to display your cheese on the board here. And hopefully you guys can see in the bottom right hand corner, I did leave a little bit of space so that you guys were able to see the board. Um, but I have the larger block of cheese and then I am just going to lay the slices kind of like they were like just being cut very naturally. So you don't wanna make it look like you tried too hard, anything like that. So I'm just gonna lay that like that. There you go, you can see that there. And then I also have another type of cheese. So normally I do like a hard cheese and the soft cheese. Um, so the one that I laid on the board here is a cheddar. And then I just have a small little slice of brie here. And I'm gonna be very tempted to eat this cheese board, but I just had dinner before, so I'm gonna try not to. Um, and since I only filled up one ramekin, I'm actually thinking that having two on the board is a little bit too much. That's why I always put one with something that I actually really want for the cheese. And then I leave the other one on there as a prop until I kind of fill out the space. So this is a brie and I'm just gonna stick this on the other end of the board here. So hopefully you guys can see just placement wise, this is more towards the end. And then the cheeses are more towards the other end. Hopefully you guys can still see. I'm going to share another product with you guys on the screen here that isn't necessary for 